All right, let's play this whole thing here. We got revised bouncing ball, heavy, and characters. You got your light, a heavy, and a character. Thanks for the side view again. It's working pretty well. There are a couple of things here that still need some some fixing. Let me just see here. So regarding your squash and stretch, you talked about reducing it, and I think it's it's definitely better. I don't mind it as much. What you have to do is, let me see if I can do this with this tool. All right, so if the ball lands here, and we got the apex pretty much over there, there's kind of an arc this way. It's very sloppy, but... So what you have to look at, I'm going to be all fancy here. When you have your stretch, right now your stretch is pointing towards somewhat where you're headed. It gets better towards the end. That's okay. Even this here is a bit pointing this way. But once you get to here, it really points there. So what I'm trying to say is here. Let me switch again. Let's make this super fancy. What should I choose here? I'm going to choose whatever it is here. So when you have your stretch, your stretch needs to be pulled so that it's always pointing this way. So your ball stretch needs to be a bit more aligned towards this area. Even here, a bit more over, definitely a bit more over pointing, always kind of towards where we're headed. So even here, when we have this point here, so that's your impact point. You're already starting to stretch, pointing down here, right? So rotate that so it points this way. So I would look at that for sure. It's not too bad. So you got your point here then it's lower, which is good. Not super sure about having this so close to the ground. And then here it creates almost a bit of a sticky frame. I'll probably adjust it so that I backtrack it so that you're timing where it's this might be the last one and then squash and then out into here. Now spacing wise, if you do that, it would be a bit of a pop. So you would have to adjust and bring this guy a bit lower, take this one out and leave this one there. That would be my suggestions has it watching this for the first time it felt just some of those impact frames are a bit sticky same thing here same thing here not that it's a shot breaker it's like oh, oh my god this is horrible take this out this will never be working um I and mean, it gives it also a little bit of a cartoony feel that that squishiness and it works with the squash so i'm not saying it's completely wrong but it would be interesting to kind of just change that give this a bit more of a regular bouncy feel again i think your squash and stretch towards the end is fine it doesn't have that that poppiness anymore but here you're really sticking one frame i mean you have that throughout the biggest thing though i think I would do um, the stretch adjustment that it always points towards the impact, impact point. That would be my second note, but it's something I would address. The stickiness will be at the bottom of the list. The first one you need to address is this. This feels like the ball is on a, a string and it's being pulled back. Or there's a magnet that brings that ball back. If you watch this in real time, it just feels too, too exaggerated. You have to roll over, hold, 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 and have a slight rollback. Maybe, you know, maybe this much, maybe this much, but not so far. And you got to give this some time to come to an end and then roll back. Yeah, this just feels like it's 
suddenly being pulled back by whatever outside force and doesn't feel like a natural roll where it's, where it's doing dun, 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 roll. Like that's kind of the timing. You want to give this time to stop and then come back. On the heavy one, again, I would take the rotations just out for now. Not that they're, they're bad, but it's not bad. It seems pretty heavy. But if you have your thing here, the thing that's funky, and I will, I will probably, I will bring in a, an object there so you can see what's going on. There's a slight feel of why it's not rolling because this is not there. So again, I will probably take that out and then we can worry about rotations later. But if you do have an object here, it's going to have to feel like it's going and rolling over. Boom. And right now, there's an ever so slight feel. Again, as I'm just pretending that that object is whatever, whatever. It feels like it's we're coming out a bit too far, and then it drops. It doesn't have that feel of roll over. Bam. Now the actual impact. It's pretty good. It feels pretty heavy. This is a bit funky, and again, it's with the rotations. We're translating more than we rotate, or you would have to rotate more. So that it doesn't feel like the ball is sliding. So again, I'll take out the rotations for now. And just concentrate on the weight. That's your impact here. It's a bit high. I would probably go two thirds of that. And then half of that one. And let's pretend if I can order the rotation. It's almost a bummer we're cutting out too soon. I would probably not go as far again. Maybe cut that roll in half and then hold a bit and then do like a tiny bit of a roll back again. So we can, we have that feeling of boom, boom, coming back. You want to give this time to roll to a stop and finish. This seems pretty okay. This is your... Impact there. I'll probably reduce the stretch there just a bit. It's pointing this way, but it's also a bit much. I think you can just have that for like a, a snappy thing there. Careful here. If you're doing this and you come up this way, then you suddenly have this. This is the feel of you're pointing this way. You're ready to go up. But then you're going roaring over this way. So I would just adjust this pose and go a bit lower this way so that we have a bit more of a, a natural arc this way. And it doesn't give this feeling of, I'm trying uh, when I'm doing this. It's a bit too linear through there. You can see on those, those two frames how you're riding that line. So make sure that arc is always kind of there. Again, your impact's there and you're pointing actually a bit here. So it's the same idea there. Watch out with your with your points there. And if you're going over there, there's a slight momentum to the right. You're landing here. I would probably go on this frame a bit more to the right. Just globally move everything over. And I would probably land over here. Uh, sorry, like this meaning over here. And you may have to zoom out a little bit. Or where do you start? Hold on. Okay. Yeah, either pan with the camera. I would just move um, the camera back a bit so that if you move it here, we're not so close to the edge. So the ball is going to be a bit smaller in frame. This is cool. Same thing here. It feels like your stretch is this way. It needs to stretch towards the impact point. And then as you land, I wouldn't really actually go this way. You can have it a little bit, but don't forget to also rotate this way. There's a momentum going this way and if it stops and it's trying to stay put it's almost like you're jumping and landing and you, your body will kind of lean forward you're trying to lean back a bit so it would have also a bit of a rotation this way and it might have to roll a tiny bit then all right i would do that those are the fixes and i'm going to email you the uh, list of assignments or at least the next one that i would concentrate on all right thank you
All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.